Hey guys, so in the last video, I showed you guys how to reply with uh, reply to a message uh, from the bot. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to implement some very basic commands. Okay, so what are commands? So commands are basically input that you feed into the bot via the Discord message. So for example, if I say something like exclamation mark hello, typically commands are prefixed with a symbol, like an exclamation mark, an asterisk. Uh, a question mark, etc. The bot will interpret that, and it should give us some response if the bot recognizes the command. Okay, that's the very. It's a very straightforward concept. Okay, so the way it works is every single time a message is sent, we want to check that message. We want to see if it's an actual command. If it is a command, we're going to check which command that is, and we're going to do what that command should do. Okay, so remember, commands are typically prefixed. So what we're going to do first is we're going to set up a prefix, okay? And the prefix can be anything you want. We're going to keep it simple. We're going to make the prefix a symbol. So I'm actually going to go into my .env file and I'm going to set the prefix of our bot to a question mark. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say const prefix equals. So I'm going to reference that environment variable. So I want to get you guys in the habit of using environment variables because it's very important. Uh, if you if your goal is to become like, you know, a uh, proficient developer, you know, you want to be exposed to different ways people do different things. So it's always good to do different things. You can also use the config.json file too. You can just add the prefix here. And then again, import this config.json file like I showed you guys in the first or second episode and just reference the prefix. And no, it was the third episode. It's like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say process.env.prefix. That's going to reference the environment variable from the .env file. So our prefix now is set to the question mark. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and say if message so we want to check if the user that sent the message we want to check if the content starts with the command prefix and ends with the correct uh command name so to do that we're going to do content out to lowercase so we don't care about case right it's not case sensitive so we're going to say starts with and we're then going to do um prefix concatenate it with command uh concatenate it with the command that we want so hello Okay, so basically this, what this is doing is basically checking if that string starts with the question mark, the prefix, and hello. So if it starts with question mark, hello, right? Now, actually, instead of actually doing starts with, we can actually just directly do equals 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 prefix hello. Now, there's a difference between using starts with and just directly comparing it. Typically, you'd want to use starts with. Uh, you'd want to use the starts with function uh, if you have a command that takes an argument. So I will get to that in maybe either this video or another episode. But uh, there, but and if if you have a command that doesn't take arguments, then you can just directly compare it. Okay. But we're gonna stick with starts with just to make things consistent. So we're gonna do prefix hello. So if this is true, we're going to reply to the user, and we're gonna say hello. So if I go to my Discord, if I do question mark hello, notice how it's going to say hello. If I do question mark, I mean, I'm sorry, if I do exclamation mark hello, nothing's going to happen because that's not our command prefix. If I change the command prefix to an exclamation mark, and if I try question mark hello, uh, wait a minute, that should, oh, I don't think that restarted it. Okay, if I do question mark hello, that's not going to work, but if I do exclamation mark hello, that's going to work. Okay, so you can always modify your prefix to whatever you want. Okay. Okay, cool. So this is a very simple uh, command, but what I want to do is I actually want to create a function that's going to check the Boolean value of this, because remember, this returns true or false. Starts with, if it it's always going to return true or false. If it returns true, then we're going to execute what our command needs to do. But I'm going to create a function because, again, we might have a bunch of different commands that, we, that needs to go through this check. So instead of copying and pasting this over and over and over again, because like, we might have 10 different commands, Instead of doing this over and over and over again, we define one function that's going to uh, check the Boolean value of this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and define a simple arrow function. So I'm gonna say const uh, is command, and this is just gonna basically check if the command is uh, a command. I'm actually gonna call this is valid command. So I'm gonna go and say, it's gonna take in two parameters. It's gonna take the message, and it's gonna take in the command name. And it's going to return, or it's going to return 
the value. So it's basically just going to be message.conta.tour lowercase. So we're going to go ahead and just copy this. So message.content that tool okay so remember all we're doing is we're taking the message object we're getting we're referencing the content the actual string message that was sent by the user not because you know, we don't care about the other properties like id uh, author we just care about the content we're setting that string to lowercase because it's not case and we don't care about case and we're just checking if it starts with the prefix whoops if it starts with the prefix well why did what happened we're checking if it starts with the prefix, concatenated with the command name. And this command name is a parameter that we pass in. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to call is valid command. And we're going to pass in message as well as the hard coded string literal hello. Okay. And if that's true, right, it's basically just going to do the same thing that we had over here. Right. It starts with prefix, concatenated with the command name. So if that is true, it's going to execute that command just like that. Very very simple. Okay, so that's a very standard command. Let's go ahead and implement another command. We're gonna implement a command that generates a random number from one to six. So basically a roll dice command. So I'm gonna say is valid command message roll dice. Okay, and if this is true, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to generate a number. So we're gonna get roll dice. So this is also another arrow function. It takes in no parameters, okay? And it's going to return a random number from, it should return a random number from zero, one to six. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this, we're going to multiply math.random by six because math.random returns a number between zero to one. And it can be any floating point. It can be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. So we want to multiply that number by six. Okay. So what's going to happen is this number is going to go up to six. Okay, it's not going to be exactly six, but it's going to go up to six. So what we need to actually do is we actually need to round this number down and we're going to use the floor function. It's going to round the number down. Okay, and I'll show you how that actually works. So for example, right over here, I'm calling math.random. Okay, and I'm multiplying it by six every single time. And you can see that math.random returns a random number from zero to one. If you multiply it by six, Again, it's going to give you a random number every single time. Okay, so it's going to give us 1, 3, 1.7, 3.5. It's not going to give you an integer. It's going to give you a floating point. So we need to actually round this number down to get rid of the floating point. Because what's, what this is going to do is it's going to give us a number from 0 to 5. Okay, and then we're going to just add 1. We're going to add an offset so we can actually get the number. We can, we can actually get the numbers from 1 to 6. So... The largest number that's being generated is 5, the smallest number being generated is 0, and the, the, the largest number being returned, notice how I say returned because we're adding 1 to the actual generated value, is going to be 6, and the smallest number returned is going to be 1, which is basically, you know, the, the boundaries of, of a dice. So I'm going to go ahead and say message.reply, and we're going to say rolled a, roll dice, call that function, and that's going to basically give us a random number so roll dice roll dice roll dice you want to always test your code over and over again to make sure it doesn't give you any weird inputs so this should give us one two three okay i'm kind of spamming it but you guys get the idea okay perfect so that should always return a number between one to six okay and that's a very simple command okay nothing too crazy so uh my suggestion to you guys is think of some basic commands that you want to implement um and try to implement it Okay, we're going to get into more uh, advanced commands later on in this tutorial series because commands are pretty much the building block of building your Discord bot. Okay, so um, yeah, it's pretty pretty straightforward tutorial. So I will, I will see you guys in my uh, next tutorial. Peace.